Good morning, Braille class. Today we're going to be recapping the sound shh with a focus more on spelling than reading. So let's go through some of the sounds. We had the sound yesterday. See if you can remember that sound. Fantastic. I. Uh. Uh. Your. Oh. Now we're going to see whether we can revise some of our high frequency words and common exception words that we've learned through our phonics sessions this year. So remember to think first and then when I push it forward, day. What a beautiful day it is today. House. About. Oh, one of our common exception words now. One. As in, I have one finger up. Oh, this is a hard one. Little. So now we've gone through those words, let's see whether you can spell them. So I want you to see whether you can pause the video in a minute and see whether you can spell the word house. So how do I spell the word house? So pause the video and see whether you can have some time to spell it. Let's see whether you are right. House. H O U S E, house. Now let's see whether you can spell the word one, as in I had one chocolate bar for my pudding. Can you spell the word one? Don't forget to pause the video so you've got time to write it. Let's see if you were right. One O N E, one. Last one this time. Ooh, I'll make it an easy one. Can you write the word? Day. Now remember the A sound. Think about it. Is it AI? Is it AY? Is it split diagraph A? Have a think. Let's see. Day. D A Y. Now I'm going to teach you the sound that we're learning today. So the sound we're learning today is shh. It's a digraph. Two letters that come together to make one sound. So our caption action today is shh, shh. We have a plan. So see whether you can do that. Shh. We have a plan. And again, shh, shh, we have a plan. So when you see this side of the card, you're going to say, shh, shh, we have a plan. Let's have a look at the letters that make up our dog graph today. What letter names go together to make our shh sound today? S and H. So S and H come together to make the sound shh. So you see this side of the card, you're going to say, shh. And have a look at the way my mouth looks. Shh. And when we see this side of the card, we're going to say, shh, shh. We have a plan. We're beckoning, saying, come with us. We have a plan. Let's see whether you can do it. Oh. Shh, shh. We have a plan. Fantastic. See whether now you can write our sound from today. Shh. What two letter names go together to make that sound? Have a little look. Hopefully you remembered that our shh sound today is spelled S and H. Now we're going to have a look at segmenting and blending some of our words with our shh sound in today. So let's try that first one together. We're splitting it up into its sounds. Shh. Oh. Shh. Oh. Oh, shock. I had a terrible shock when all my chocolate had been eaten by my partner. He does that a lot. Well, let's try the next one. You have a turn this time. Shells. Think about where you might go and collect some shells. Be nice to go there right now, maybe to the beach. Next one. Oh, now this is a hard one. Let's try this one. Dishes. Do we call them dishes? No, we don't. We need to change it slightly because the way we pronounce this word is dishes. So that eh again, it's a bit naughty. Turns into an ear sound. Dishes, dishes. So Miss Bailey had to clean the dishes when she got home. Oh. Fish. 
Again, if you're looking at that word and you're thinking, oh, it's a little bit too long for me, we can split it up. So I can see at the beginning, it's a nice easy word, k at cat And I can fold that over or I can hide it. And then I've got the second part of the word, f-ish, fish. So I've got cat and I've got fish, and then I can put it together to make catfish. Let's see now whether you can spell some of those words. So remember, pause the video after I've said the word, so then you've got time to write it down. So can you write the word catfish? Can you write the word catfish? Remember to pause that video. Let's see whether you're right. Catfish, C-A-T-F-I-S-H. Well, I don't know if you were correct. Oh, can you spell the word dishes? Now remember, there's no I before the S at the end of it. So think about what it might be. Dishes. Remember, pause the video. Let's have a look. D-I-S-H-E-S. -E remember that E is the tricky bit in it. Dishes. Fantastic. Ooh, shells. How do you spell the word shells? Now remember, if you're finding this really easy, see whether you can write some sentences with those words in. That will really, really improve your learning and challenge you a little bit more. Shells. Let's see. S-H-E-L-L-S. -L -L -S. Fantastic. Last one. Oh. Now this is not one we've looked at, but it's one that I'm going to give you. Because it's nice and easy. Ships. 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 See whether you can write the word ship. Ships were sailing across the sea. Ships. Remember to pause the video. S H I P S. Ships. Now we're going to try and hold and then write our sentence. So the sentence we're going to do today is I. So for I, we're going to do a line and a line at the top. So we're going to write a capital letter I. Because we know that when we write the word I in sentences, it has to be capitalised because it's a personal pronoun. So capital I in the air. Was, we're going to do a W like this. And then the next word is shocked. So I was shocked. Full stop on the end. And again, I was shocked. Full stop on the end. So we're already rehearsing our sentence and now we need to try and write it. So I is my first word. And I know that's a capital letter because it's a personal pronoun and it's also at the beginning of my sentence. So I... The next word was, so I'm using my finger space, and that was is quite a tricky one because it's not spelled how you'd think, it's a common exception word. So I always remember was as was, because that's how it's spelled, w as, was. So if you remember was as was, you'll always remember how to spell it. I was shocked, so we're looking at our sh from today, which is S and hopefully you know a H. Shock, my next sound is O, oh. then I have that special friend K. And then when we're putting ED on the end, it's past tense, I'm not in shock, I was shocked. I'm not putting a T, even though it sounds like it, I'm putting that E and D on the end, that suffix E and D. I was shocked. What's the comment? Now again, that is a very short sentence. And we're in year two now, so we need to start extending our sentences. So today, we're going to be extending our sentence using the conjunction when. So I want you to cross off that full stop, and we're going to use the conjunction when. So think of a time when you might have felt shocked. So I was shocked when... I found out my partner ate all my chocolate. I was shocked when Boris Johnson said the schools were closing. So I want you to see now whether you can write the rest of this sentence using the conjunction when. So thinking of a time when you were shocked. See whether you can write that sentence and even challenge yourself more and see if you can write another sentence using another word with the sound sh in it with the conjunction when. See if you can do that at home. 